Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm sharing an Easter brunch with you guys. I know it's a little bit before Easter, but this was really the only opportunity that my whole family could get together for a brunch, so we're having it early. I couldn't resist going with a white tablecloth. It seemed ideal for spring, and also it made a great background for the artificial grass table runner I used down the middle. I actually used this for the Paw Patrol party dessert table I did for my nephew last summer, and I have just been waiting to pull it out again for spring. I'm also gonna pull out my blush pink napkins for this morning and fold them in thirds so I can lay them over the larger white plates and tuck the edges underneath. And then I'm placing these lovely glass plates on top of that. I found them on clearance in Home Goods last year, and I just thought they were really pretty and unique. I'm also placing an acrylic cupcake tower in the center, along with a glass candle holder on each side. And I'm just placing a few artificial flowers beside them, although you could probably use real ones instead if you wanted. I found this box of 16 little glass candles in Home Goods, and I'm just gonna place them in the top here. Kids running around having the flame contained a little bit more might just be a better idea anyway. And then Mike found these golden eggs on Amazon, which are just so pretty. I can't resist making these into little favors. I'm just gonna fill them with some yogurt covered dried cranberries I got in Dollar Tree, along with a little piece of chocolate as well, and place one at each place setting. Then I started preparing the food, and I know the kids are gonna want pancakes, so for a little variety, I prepared my pancakes batter like usual, and then what I'm gonna do is use this special squeeze bottle for the batter. I will try to find it and link everything I'm using below for you guys. This bottle is the perfect tool for making nice, round, tiny circles of pancakes, whatever size you want, and you can get them nice and even looking. It was perfect for making little mini pancake short stacks, which I'm holding together with a wooden toothpick and placing a raspberry on top. Now my sister and I and my husband Mike all enjoy smoked salmon and cream cheese on croissant rolls. We don't have this often, but it seemed like a yummy addition to a spring brunch today. I also have just regular plain croissants I'm gonna put out. as well as hot cross buns. And I don't know if we've ever had these before, but I saw them when I was in the grocery store yesterday and decided to give them a try as well. I made deviled eggs last night and this morning, I'm just adding some fresh chives on top, as well as sticking a few extra in around the eggs for a garnish on the stand. I've got a sliced cucumber here that I'm gonna top with a bit of cream cheese and a sprig of some fresh dill. I used a fruit and vegetable wash for the cucumber and then peeled it with alternating stripes to keep some of the bright green on there. Here's a tip, if you're having trouble getting the cream cheese to stick on the cucumber, just use the tip of a knife to push the cream cheese off the tip of your piping tip so it stays in place. And I love the look of the fresh herbs. They add a nice light flavor and make the perfect springtime garnish as well. While the pan was still hot from the pancakes, Mike was helping me by cooking some sausage, which the kids love along with these slices of Canadian bacon that we used to make some hot ham and biscuit breakfast sandwiches. I'm also slicing up some cantaloupe melon and topping that with some lightly sugared blackberries for something sweet. Mike added a bowl of malted eggs to the top, and I thought it looked perfectly adorable that way. Oh, and in addition to the blush pink napkins at each place setting, I used these lovely napkins from Hobby Lobby that say he is risen. I had a package left over from last year and decided to just split it in half and have extra napkins at each end of the table, especially since sometimes you need some extra napkins around. If you've hosted a brunch with toddlers at it, you mamas probably know exactly what I'm talking about. I really wanted to reflect springtime with the flowers and grass runner, and the menu was light and fresh with very little cooking or baking to do. We had a wonderful time, and this was just a perfect time to gather as a family and enjoy welcoming spring and celebrating Easter. 
So I think a lot of you guys know that I like to do dessert tables and tablescapes for buffets, parties, events, things like that. And I did share the dessert table that we had for Thanksgiving with you guys, but it can be a lot to get everything filmed and edited and posted and stuff. So what I decided to do this weekend, we have a lot going on for Easter weekend and throughout the day on Easter Sunday, we have um, I think 25 to 30 people gonna be here for dinner and it's just gonna be a lot. So what I decided to do was kind of like film and vlog throughout the weekend and put it together and share it. So if you don't like vlog videos, just don't watch that one. If you do, I think you'll probably enjoy it. But with that being said, I look forward to seeing you all soon in the next one. And if I don't see you before Easter, have a very happy Easter and I will see you guys soon. Bye.